An event to raise awareness of domestic abuse and coercive control within relationships was held in Glasgow. The workshop was at the Pierce Institute in Govan and featured a play called Silver Sands. It's about the journey of women coming through domestic violence and coercive control is basically the start of that journey where it's just basic uh, vocal manipulation, isolation and these perpetrators against us. So it's kind of taking us through that journey and coming out the other side. Coercive control is a pattern of controlling and abusive behaviour which seeks to take away your liberty or freedom and your sense of self. The event is part of a 16 day of action of violence against women. I think that with the, with the cases of domestic violence and domestic abuse, most people assume that it's just physical violence, but there are so many aspects to domestic abuse, and coercive control is one of them, and as Margaret has informed you, that sometimes that can be the beginning of the journey of the whole abuse situation. And so we want to highlight and make aware to people that there are many facets, and today we're trying to highlight the coercive control in order to be able to support the, the evidence already that is out there regarding coercive control for the legislation. Justice Secretary Hamza Yousaf opened the event. Along with a panel of guest speakers, he led a discussion on the Domestic Abuse Act Scotland. The Act will make psychological abuse and coercive control an offence when it comes into force next year. It's an important event to have because we need to let people know about coercive of control, about domestic abuse, domestic violence and all the other facets that are within the domestic abuse legislation. And we need to let people be aware that you know, it's, it's more than just being physical violence. There are all these little steps that lead up to things and they are just as important as when somebody has been you know, battered and ended up at hospital. And uh, you know, that matters as well. And it's, it's not just the, the physical violence that is important. Those little things, they stay in your head. And even though cuts, they will heal and bruises, they'll fade away, you know, broken bones heal. But those voices, those commands, they stay in your head. Another reason why it's so important that these plays take place, that these voices are heard, that people learn, especially for people like Margaret and I, because we are survivors. Mm. And the unfortunate, horrible, horrible truth is that there are many women who don't survive. Coercive relationships can affect all ages and any member of the family. Spreading the word about the help that is available and exactly what these behaviour traits are is crucial. So it's very important that we get this message out there to young girls. I've got granddaughters, you know, and I would never wish any person, male or female, to go through what I've been put through now. My 17 year old daughter is participating in the plays because she too is passionate and having heard me give talks and, and, and lectures about what happened to me, finding ways out how I did it, um, it's had an effect on her where she wants to help other women too and to be able to start from such a young age. So she feels it's important too that we take this message out into schools and let girls, um, teenage girls, be aware of how to keep themselves safe and look out for the signs. Children are important as well in many of these relationships. The children have the unheard voice yet again. The women sometimes don't get a chance to tell their stories or to speak out, but a lot of the family situations where women are not getting physically abused, the coercive control as their young children may be stuck in the middle of these situations. The event has helped highlight domestic abuse and the different forms it can be. The Glasgow Women's Library are continuing to work with the Scottish Parliament to highlight the issues and discuss this new legislation. Rhiannon Melrose, That's TV.